tag it to a particular organ and then piggyback a substance on it, inject it into the body, and the melanin will not release that substance until it gets to that particular organ. Now, this is a new therapeutic treatment that they're going to now start delivering chemotherapeutic agents with. Now, where do you think they're getting all this melanin from? Hey. Seriously. Now, that's very interesting. And I'll just let you do the research on that question. This brings me to why I began to try to introduce this information bit by bit into the community for a couple of reasons. Because when I began to understand the awesomeness of melanin, I also began to recognize that it is a solution to primarily all the problems that are on the planet now. Mm -hmm. But because the people that contain the most are locked in first and second circuits, they actually shut down the qualities of melanin and now have become the problem. So it's like awesome because it's like really diabetes. Okay, you are drowning in a sea of plenty. So you have to understand that with you having the greatest gifts, the blacker you are, the more gifted you are, the more awesome you are, and when you walk around here still thinking that you've been cursed and that you've got a problem, it is devastating. In these books, they talk about the immunogenetic potential of melanin. It is already known that AIDS cannot exist in the presence of melanin. They know that. It's the most awesome immunogenic substance on the planet. It is actually now being researched in a means for serum to actually treat AIDS. So therefore, when you see somebody that's black and aiming it up to you talking about they have AIDS, that is not the issue with them. The issue is the fact that they are sit up, sitting up locked in first and second circuit mentality. So the treatment for them has to be someone that's going to elevate their state of consciousness. So, you know, it's no need to run around hoping that they do X, Y, and this person is, well, already has their own treatment. So as soon as they can give up the need to have self-hate and to feel that they're a victim and somebody else is holding them down, which they have found is very interesting that when you think those thoughts, you create neurotransmitters that chelate the melanin molecule and shut down its activity. So every time you look in the mirror and feel that you are too black, that your hair is too nappy, that your nose is too wide, know that your destiny has been sabotaged. And you did it. So therefore, you have to ask yourself, why do you think that you are the wretched of the earth when your information is making big money for those people who wish they had it? Why are you going around talking about you have no money and that is somebody else is holding you back, etc., when you are the original God and Goddess on the planet if you would activate your brain? So it's time now that you begin to reallocate your funds. Every time you go to the store and buy a pop, you should pop yourself upside down. <laughs> Every time you go and buy a cigarette, you should light it and stick it to your hand. Lit. Because you have no time to waste your money on such just outrageous stupidness when you don't know who you are. This is what you need to be putting your money on so that you can understand what it is that you need to actualize your greatness. Why are you buying $70 gym shoes when you do not have this basic book in your library? Why are you in need of driving $45,000 cars when you have no idea that you're still locked in Second Circuit and how to get out? These are the things that you have to look at. So it's ridiculous to talk about that we can't afford anything. <coughs> what we need to talk about is why do we have belief systems that keep us in the quality of life that we have. Mm -hmm. When you walk outside and see paper in the front of your house, ball, dirt with no grass, paint running off everything, as a woman especially, you have to ask yourself, where is my creativity and where is my life force energy? Because truly where that flows, that kind of existence is impossible. <coughs> so we have to begin to really ask ourselves why we continuously want to have belief systems that put us living in the quality that we're living in. And I can guarantee you it's because of the food that you eat and it's because of the thoughts that you think.
It has been documented in this research that the Africans, because we have a well-developed external and internal circulatory system, and that because we are protein and fat sparing, cannot eat concentrated fats and proteins. So every time you put an animal in your body, you are getting ready to block off your stuff. It is a known fact that eating animal fat and protein, and especially chickens and fowl, will make your ovaries hard as a rock. When your ovaries get hard as a rock, your creativity is shut down. And this is why over one out of every three women with uterine fibroids has them. So you have to understand that when the woman's reproductive organs, which actually house the life force energy in the first chakra, are hard as a rock, yes, you'll have dirt flying up in your face, paint peeled off everything, and everything broke down and creeled to the side. Because the first chakra is blocked and the life force energy cannot radiate. So the reason why we are in the condition we're in has nothing to do with the money that the city will or will not give you. That means not a hill of beans. Because as long as you have a physical body that can stand and bend and reach, you can totally transform your environment. It has nothing to do with what they're doing. And so for you to get involved in politics and all that stuff is really a squandering of your life force energy when you recognize that you have not even begun to exhaust what you already have looking in the mirror every day at yourself. But when you start eating synthetic foods, you don't even know what's in these pots. You have no idea what's even in that mess. What's in it? Has anyone even done the research on that? See, this is what I'm talking about. This is, we got to start using what little brain cells we've activated. What makes a pop? What's in it? How many teaspoons of sugar? And what does the sugar do? Okay, you want to try 16? And do you want to know that the first thing that it does is that one teaspoon of sugar totally immobilizes all of the white blood cells in your bloodstream for three or four hours? So now try 16 of them, multiplied times four. See, this is the information that you should have. These books are only two or three dollars. So you have to ask yourself, if you consider yourself intelligent, why you don't know what is manipulating your environment. Why is it that they have pink street lights on your block and blue on the next? And then when you go to the suburbs, they're white. What do you know about these frequency of bulbs and what they're emanating? Do you know anything about that? Well, if you don't, then you got a problem. Because I guarantee you, you always have some health problems. How can you stand in the mirror and see your melanin actually fade off your face and not be concerned about that? What does that represent? These all have answers, and it's all been documented but not unless you are willing to start supporting those institutions or people that will constantly bring you the information, then you are going to be lost at your own ignore rant. Because you ignored yourself. That's what ignorance is. It's not being aware of the obvious. Mm -hmm. So anytime you can actually know what natanola is, and not know what melanin is, you know that you're going out of the world backwards. <laughs> mm -hmm. Because any time a person would dare to put something on them, to take away something, they don't even know what they've taken away. This is truly second circuit mentality. And you will be enslaved the rest of your life for that. Because they know how to basically pull your chain. So, I brought these books intentionally because as far as I'm concerned, every household should have this. Okay, what these books need, however, are individuals who can translate it for you. Because, of course, that's another thing that they do. They actually put this in medical terms. Now, because the Creator creates everything that you need to be able to master an experience, we have individuals who can do this for you. Okay? And therefore, they have to take and sit down and read it and interpret it and think about it and then put it in a simplified form. You must not. You must not debate what they are asking you to do, asking you to give them for that information. So you have to understand that Europeans will pay whatever is necessary for information about themselves because they understand that once they know about themselves, they can quadruple the 